Alyeska's commitment to the Alaska Native community is what paved the way for the construction of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System. The proposed route crossed Alaska Native lands from the North Slope to Valdez. The commitment to the Alaska Native community in order for construction to go forward was for jobs, but it was also to protect our environment. And that's part of the Emergency Preparedness and Response Program. Because the Yukon River crossing of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline is located so close to the villages of Rampart and Stevens Village, Alyeska has had a long-standing partnership with those villages for oil spill response. We have many members of the villages that have been involved in the drill exercises and trainings for decades. Pretty much everybody on the crew is family. My name is Patty Wheel Green. I am from Rampart, Alaska. I've been an oil spill responder for the last 10 to 12 years. My sister, Mary, who's been an oil spill responder for 20 some years, has nudged me to be a responder so we can keep our waterways safe. My husband is also a responder and our oldest son, Floyd, is a responder. Our commitment to uh, being an oil spill responder is to keep our subsistence areas clean, uh, our waters for our fish. For Elieska, we get the tools together. We have to deploy them to where we're doing the training. We actually take the tools out. We learn to use them if we don't haven't used them before. Um, and Gary and the team just teaches us the proper way to do it, the safe way to do it. Much like all our oil spill responders in the pipeline and stuff, the first thing you have to do is get badged with Elieska. Go through the different physical processes and different things that qualify for it and then through the different processes of getting trained in oil spill response. So the village response teams are trained and assessed in the same manner as everyone else along the pipeline corridor. Patty has come along greatly and stuff, but she's, she's basically got herself in a situation now where she represents as a leader out there. You have someone like Patty Green who's taken on a lead role. She's just jumped right in to making sure that the team operates well, that they're safe in all of their activities. Uh, that they continue to uh, do the training that's required and put their full commitment behind it. Because I know what the equipment is. I take notes of what needs to be sent out in the boats into the field and get it moved fast. You gotta work as safe as you can. I really enjoy working with Gary Breen and the team. Um, they provide awesome trainings for us and we work hard. Um, they teach us things that we didn't even know existed. It's a really great team and we have a lot of fun with doing it. They enjoy working with the tools and the different people and equipment that we use out there. It's a swap of knowledge and seeing the different tools and the different tactics we use sparks them for ideas. The, the knowledge they bring to the table has been valuable to us as well. The Rampart and Stevens Village responders live and have lived for generations on the Yukon River, so their expertise and their knowledge of the river is invaluable to us. Our team brings our expertise of the river and the waterways that we grew up around and what they don't, may not know, we know, and we help and teach them. The reason why I'm an oil spill responder is I want to keep our subsistence area, our my backyard, our home safe. Um, I don't want our grounds, our hunting grounds, our fishing waterways to be jeopardized. So I, that's why I chose to be an oil spill responder. As a resident of the interior, I grew up and was born and raised in the interior. Grew up in Nenana on the Tananut River. Spent a lot of time in my childhood on the Yukon River, and that's something that is really very important to me and my family and all of us who were raised in that backyard. The Rampart and Stevens Village responders want to be involved in this work. It's critical that they're involved in this work because they live in that area with their families, and it's a partnership between us and between those villagers who do live in the area. It's for us to make sure that we keep the oil in the pipe, and if there is a bad day, that we have people who are ready to respond quickly and safely. I look at the Ramparts and Stevens contract associated with the village response teams along the pipeline to be of mutual benefit to both parties. Their experience is invaluable, and they can be assured that we are protecting the environment that they live in and or grew up in.
I like doing it because we got to keep the environment safe. I like learning new things, the hard work. It's awesome. <laughs>